Hey guys, welcome back. KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. Another video on the 7100. One of the reasons I told you I wanted it on my desk was so that I have uh, D-Star, but also for traditional stuff like Winlink. Now we talked about Winlink before, and I haven't had a you know desk-mounted VHF UHF radio. Yes, it does do HF and D-Star and stuff, but I'm talking about Winlink and going back to something for emergency communications for just to have fun, to do something different in this hobby rather than sit there and do the same thing over and over. So we've talked about in the past, the Mobile Linked TNC. This is a Bluetooth TNC by Mobile Linked. And this device uh, will let you operate APRS with your cell phone and a simple Bofung radio, or go as far as packet radio with a radio like this, my FT450, my 7100, my 70, or my 706, my uh, Zygu X5105 and more. It just depends on the radio and the cable that you interface it. So let me show you something real quick because I've been playing with my 7100 today and somebody decides to text me. So one of the reasons I like this radio that I showed you in the first video about this was the fact that, I could unplug it here and turn it around for you. Okay, so on the back, let me move this over. On the back of the unit, all these interfaces, right? All these ways of connecting it. So today we're using the data port here. This is data two. And this is a six pin mini DIN into here. And the mobile linked has a cable that is, you can make your own or you can buy it. It's four pin tip, ring, ring, sleeve, four pole, 3.5 millimeter to a six pin mini DIN. I used the same cable with my FT450 and my, uh, my uh, FT817 when I had it in the past. Now I'm using it with this. So just simply plugging this cable in, okay? If my eyes want to work today, I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, plugging that in, right? And then it goes into the mobile link. That's it. Now what I'm doing for this video is I am linking up this to my computer using a Bluetooth dongle, little USB dongle. They're like four bucks on Amazon. Here's the picture of one of them and the link is in the description. Pick one of those up or if you have a new laptop, it's built in, Bluetooth built in. And I'm using Windows, so I'm not sure about Linux or Mac or whatever. So that's it. Now my computer is wirelessly interfacing with the 7100 and the mobile link using Bluetooth. And in that, I'm going to use RMS Express WinLink to send an email with this over the 7100 on VHF analog. Let me show you how I do that now. to come for amateur radio videos. One of the only things that screwed me up, if you want to use this mode for analog VHF, UHF packet, make sure up top here that you're on FM digital, because see, if you're just on FM, it's not going to be listening or transmitting on that six pin DIN on the back. You want to make sure that you hit FM and then go to data. And that's the six pin port in the back or else it's not gonna key the radio and you're gonna, it, it's, it threw me for a loop for a second. I have so many data connections and you know, there's other stuff in here if you go to set and you go to connectors, you shouldn't have to mess with any of this for the data two jack. Maybe if you're using USB or data one, you could mess with some of these if you have to, but um, for the most part, I left that alone really. Um, and this is, if you wanna look, that's how you can pause the video. That's how I have number one set. Page number two, page number three, page number four. I mean, it's pretty much how I have it set up. And the USB data one, um, I had the GPS off, and I was doing some other stuff, which you'll see in the next video. But that's it. Just make sure you're on FM data mode so that it keys the radio. 
All right, so I have the 7100 here, and I just have the Bluetooth TNC, the mobile link, laying there so that you can see what it's doing. I'll turn this up so you can hopefully hear it. Squelch it. All right, and on the uh, RMS Express here, WinLink, I'm going to make a message real quick. We'll call it, uh, we're going to send it, I don't know. All right, I'm going to send a message. Uh, testing, making a video, testing, win link. All right, so we're going to post that to Outbox. Now I'm going to open the session. I already have all this set up for the channel, um, the uh, TNC and everything. And I'm going to hit send or start. And what it's going to do, it's going to start handshaking and communicating with the RMS Express in Wabasso Beach, Florida. And what you're seeing is back and forth. It's giving a little burst here. What it's doing is my station saying, hi, I'm KJ4YZ. I, I want to communicate. And the gateway says, let me turn this down. And the gateway says, okay, well, I'm an RMS Express station. Can you hear me? And mine says, yes, I can. Can you hear me? And that one says, yes, I can. And it says, okay, I want to send an email. And the gateway says, okay, are you ready to send the email? And that's what's happening, basically, until it gets to the point where it says sending. Now, it's sending that email back and forth, and it sends a little bit at a time. Did you get that? And it says, yes, I got that. Continue sending. And it goes back and forth and sends a little bit at a time until it's done. Then it sends a, uh, that was just the finish that said, hey, I'm done. Um, you can go ahead and cancel. But in this case, it looks like I have an email. So let's see what this says here. It's receiving an email. I sent one, and I'm receiving one. Hmm. It's trying to receive it. Now I have a little bit of an issue with my antenna right now, so I'm beamed directly at that gateway, and I have like half half my power coming back from the antenna. So not good. So that's finished, disconnected. Let's see what that it says. Unable to deliver your message. Oh, it couldn't send my last message to, um, yeah. So it didn't like me trying to send it to my website uh, inbox, but whatever. Um, the other one already sent, I sent three here. You can see here, I sent one. Oh, that one, I, yeah. Okay. Winlink test. So those are mine. So what I just did was I sent an email uh, from my radio using the mobile link TNC over Bluetooth without any internet required. Now, yes, a little bit slower than your traditional hotspot or, or uh, iPhone or... AOL, God help you if you're using AOL in 2018. In fact, if you were using AOL in 2018, send me a comment in the video. I'd love to know. Um, but there you go. I just sent, uh, what we do here, the one email I sent right here, checking in via WinLink using 7100 and MobileLink TNC. So our local net on Mondays, we take check-ins from Echolink. We take check-ins RF, and we also take check-ins via WinLink. So I just decided to do that and they read them out. You know, people who checked in WinLink via RF or internet, however. And you can use this WinLink over just internet. For instance, if I, let's see, let me close this session here. I could go up here and go to Telnet open session and that's going to be strictly internet. No RF involved, no radio involved. So that's just going to go on real quick. See how fast that went. Done. And received a message inbox. Unable to deliver your message. Oh, I forgot the W there. Look at that. Terrible. Well, anyways, you get the idea. I was trying to type and look at the screen at the same time and radio over here. But that's the 7100 capable of using the mobile linked. The mobile linked website is in the description. I have several videos on that. I'm going to show you that interface with a couple other radios as well. The mobile link is great. In fact, they have, let me, let me do this. Let's do this. 
mobile linked, I had the first one and the second one. We go way back from when the uh, Bofung first came out, and I got one of these, and it was new then. But now, because of the last couple of videos, people were asking me, wow, you, you're using that for more than just APRS on your phone. You're using it for packet. Yes, I am. So now... It looks like Rob, who is the designer, made the MobileLink TNC3, which, of course, are already sold out. But now this one is built on the 2 version, which I have now. And it is available for pre-order on December 15th, expecting to ship January. And this one is more tailored for APRS and general packet use right here. So this is optimized now for packet radio in the field and a lot of radios. My 706, I have the cable for that. My 817, I used to have. My uh, X5105. Now my 7100. My FT450, I used it with. And I'm pretty sure I could use it with the 7300 over HF. Um, I think. I'm trying to think now if I can do that or not. But anyways, for general packet use. So check out MobileLink.com. The website is in the link in the description. And uh, they're sold out, so I'm going to have to pick one of these up because I use this more for packet than I do APRS, to be honest with you. I have APRS in my FT2DR and uh, a couple other various ways of doing it. So I use this myself as a TNC. Although, again, when I showed this in the beginning, it wasn't originally developed for packet. It was developed for APRS, but... People like me had to try it other ways. So they didn't guarantee the older versions, hey, you know, it may work, but don't email us asking why you're having trouble. But I guess the TNC3 is optimized with uh, buffered inputs and outputs, um, you know, some more, uh, more powerful modems, some other stuff. So it is available and capable for what I just did for packet use. So check out Mobile Link and their stuff for cables and everything else. They're, they're pretty cool. And check out their Facebook group as well. They do have a Facebook group. You can log in, and the guys are talking daily on there about different ideas that they're doing, different things they're doing with it, um, different radios and setup. So you have to check out the mobile link on Facebook. 7-3, thanks for watching the video. KJ4YZI.